This is Matthew chapter 3. I have to do this because I just watched a bunch of videos. It's, I guess dating videos in America. And I don't know. It's just so filthy the way women are today in America. They just come off like demons and I need to clean myself. <laughs> I need to clean my soul. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm 12 years of monogamous. So, I got a buddy, single, good dude, and he's, and he's, he's dating, he's out among the demons, God help him, Jesus, please take care of my buddy, please help him out, alright, Matthew chapter 3, John the Baptist prepares the way. In those days, John the Baptist came to the Judean wilderness and began preaching. His message was, quote, Repent of your sins and turn to God, for the kingdom of heaven is near, unquote. The prophet Isaiah was speaking about John when he said, quote, He is a voice shouting in the wilderness, Prepare the way for the Lord's coming. Clear the road for him, unquote. John's clothes were woven from coarse camel hair, and he wore a leather belt around his waist. For food, he ate locusts and wild honey. People from Jerusalem and all over Judea and all over the Jordan Valley went out to see and hear John. And when he confessed their sins, he baptized them in the Jordan River. But when he saw many Pharisees and Sadducees coming to watch and baptize, he denounced them, quote, you brood of snakes, unquote. He exclaimed, quote, Who warned you to flee the coming wrath? Prove by the way you live that you have repented of your sins and turned to God. Don't just say to each other, We're safe, for we are descendants of Abraham. That means nothing, for I tell you, God can create children of Abraham from these very stones. Even now the axe of God's judgment is poised, ready to sever the roots of the trees. Yes, every tree that does not produce good fruit will be chopped down and thrown into the fire. I baptize with water those who repent of their sins and turn to God, but someone is coming soon who is greater than I am, so much greater that I am not worthy even to be his slave and carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. He is ready to separate the chaff from the wheat with his winnowing fork when he will clean up the threshing area, gathering the wheat into his barn, but burning the chaff with never-ending fire. So John the Baptist is talking about heaven and hell. Unquote. The Baptism of Je Jesus Then Jesus went from Galilee to the Jordan River to be baptized by John. But John tried to talk him out of it. Quote, I am the one who needs to be baptized by you, he said. Uh, so why are you coming to me? But Jesus said, quote, It should be done, for we must carry out all that God requires. Unquote. So John agreed to baptize him. After his baptism, as Jesus came up out of the water, the heavens were opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and settling on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my dearly loved Son who brings me great joy. I need more. <coughs> Matthew 4 The Temptation of Jesus Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted there by the devil. For forty days and forty nights he fasted and became very hungry. During that time, the devil came and said to him, quote, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become loaves of bread. But Jesus told him, quote, No, the scriptures say, People do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Unquote. Then the devil took him to the holy city, Jerusalem, to the highest point of the temple, and said, quote, If you are the Son of God, jump off. For the scriptures say, He will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. 
Jesus responded, The scriptures also say, You must not test the Lord your God. Unquote. Ooh, I've tested God. Oh, I'm a shitty person. <sighs> Reading the Bible affects you. It does. Especially when you just see demons. Proud demons. Oh, who are women and they're going to have babies. Ugh, they be mothers. Alright, sorry. Chapter 8. I mean, yeah, still Matthew 4, chapter 4, verse 8. Next the devil took him to the peak of a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. I will give it to you, he said, if you will kneel down and worship me. Get out of here, Satan, Jesus told him, for the scriptures say, you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil went away, then the devil went away, and angels came and took care of Jesus. The ministry of Jesus begins. When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he left Judea and returned to Galilee. He went first to Nazareth, then left there and moved to Capernaum, beside the Sea of Galilee, in the region of Zebulun and Naphtali. This fulfilled what God said to the prophet Isaiah. In the land of Zebulun and Naphtali, beside the sea, beyond the Jordan River, in Galilee, where so many Gentiles live, the people who sat in darkness have seen a, green, a great light. And for those who lived in the land where death cast its shadow, a light has shined. From then on, Jesus began to preach, quote, Repent of your sins and turn to God, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Unquote. The first disciples. One day as Jesus was walking along the shore. <coughs> Excuse me. One day as Jesus was walking along the shore of the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, also called Peter, and Andrew, throwing a net into the water, for they fished for a living. Jesus called out to them, Come, follow me, and I will show you how to fish for people. And they left their nets at once and followed him. A little farther up the shore, he saw two other brothers, James and John, sitting in a boat with their father, Zebedee, repairing their nets. And he called them to come too. They immediately followed him, leaving the boat and their father behind. Crowds followed Jesus. Jesus traveled through the region of Galilee, teaching in the synagogues and announcing the good news about the kingdom, and he healed every kind of disease and illness. News about him spread as far as Syria, and people soon began bringing to him all who were sick, and whatever their sickness or disease, or if, or if they were demon-possessed or epileptic or paralyzed, he healed them all. Large crowds followed him wherever he went, People from Galilee, the ten towns, Jerusalem, all over Judea, and from east of the Jordan River. Thanks for watching.